Hey, Sandra. Hi, good morning. Good morning. I love that you're outside. <clears throat> yeah, I'm lucky it's warm where we are. It has been warm, hasn't it, in Texas? Yeah. So that was in the 30s yesterday morning. So it's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to spring. It's Back. been everything here, too. So we have a question today that I think is going to be exciting to explore. Yeah, that's a good one, especially it seems to be a common one that we get. So the question today is for those with AI, autoimmune disease, is this virus or viruses in general more threatening? Or does an overactive immune system steer us away from colds and flus and viruses? I, I love this question. I love questions that allow us to kind of illuminate what's functional, like what does it mean to be functional? And having a functional immune system is a pretty complicated thing. So we don't have immune systems that are just like underactive or overactive because there's so many different immune cells and they have different jobs. Some are scavenging, some are killing things, some are cleaning up what's being killed. There's so many different things happening and there's different killers, different cleaner uppers, and they're all communicating and working with each other. And when we have autoimmunity, it's a branch, right? It's something that came into being because of a number of different factors. And somehow what we all have in common is that part of our adaptive immune system, so some of our cells have turned on our self. So those cells are overactive. However, they exist in a milieu that could have a number of different things going on, which is my why one reason why my Hashimoto's is different than somebody else's Hashimoto's. Because that reality that we both share, whoops, this part of our adaptive immune system is on overdrive, exists in a different terrain of immunity, in a different terrain of blood function, in a different terrain of organ function, and there's all those different things. So if we have autoimmunity, it doesn't necessarily mean that we are more at risk or less at risk. That depends on so many other factors of your immune function and your full body systems function. How would you, is that kind of sum it up, Sandra, yeah, for you? Yeah, I think so. I think that's, a, yeah, you did that beautifully. Um, you know, one thing that comes to mind, we had this question on our community, um, chat that we do on Tuesday, Thursdays, and just, again, it's always going to come back to the clear, calm, enhanced, modulate, you know, taking care of ourselves, and yes, I think there is a potential that getting sick can throw you into an autoimmune flare, you know, that is the potential there, but the, again, going back to good sleep, diet, stress, um, resilience, et cetera, is what we need to focus on. Yeah, and I think that final realm of the circle of influence that you brought up, Sandra, that modulate, that's where the more we know about ourselves and yeah. why that sheet on the packet is all about questions, because modulation is where we really start to get into some of the differentiation. So yes, we all need sleep. Yes, we all need good diet. And that might look different for each of us based mm -hmm. on how our body functions, how our immune system functions, our digestive system functions. But the modulation is where we really take that deeper ownership and go into that empowerment, understanding what we call our mediators, what helps me feel better, what makes me feel worse. And I think that... Um, the one other thing I was thinking of during this conversation, Sandra, is it, it's like when people say, what do you think of the blood type diet? Mm -hmm. And our blood is like one factor in our entire system. And that's why it's hard to differentiate and say we can eat based on one thing in our body, just like I don't believe we can eat and make decisions based on our diagnosis alone or some dietary theory that when we're working functionally, we're saying, how should the body function? What's disrupted in my body's function? Right. So I want to bring us back to the concern about if I have autoimmunity, I do. Am I more at risk or less at risk? The answer is 
we're equally at risk as everybody else who doesn't know and all we can do is come back into right sandra that circle of influence, of influence yeah yeah so some another piggybacking on that question is i know i think i know what dreams will be but what if i'm in the middle of a flare an autoimmune flare yeah do i need to take any different steps than i normally would I think we are then pulling back when we're in a flare or when we're at risk of being in a flare. There's a lot of stress right now for a lot of different reasons. Some people are totally alone. Some people are totally overwhelmed by small children. Like there's a lot of stress. There's energetic stress. Like I'm feeling fatigue and I'm not going anywhere, but I'm realizing I need more sleep because energetically we're just holding a lot. So stress is a trigger for all of us with autoimmunity for any chronic disease state or any even acute disease state. There's all sorts of stress that we're experiencing. So that's where we need to kind of pull back I'm going to say expand our circle of influence, go back to those things, but it's like pulling back the, mm -hmm. um, from the, what I might call the bike lane, right? Like come back onto your path. Um, I've gotten my hand slapped for calling it a bike lane oh. because, <laughs> because we should all be riding bikes. Right. Oh, but, right. but it's a good visual. The, Yes, the visual being the shoulder on the road or the bike lane, that this is where you come back to what you know is your path. If you have yeah. maybe things in your life, now's the time to maybe pull it back to your path if you're in a flare, to pull into what you know works to support you because there's a factor that's out of our control. And that's how I'm always gauging that. If there's more of one thing, where do I need to be more uh, a more careful with some other things to kind of keep that balance in place all the time. Yeah, I think that's great. And that's, I think the message we've been trying to get out there. So yeah, beautiful. Great yeah. question. Thanks. Thanks for hanging out with me, Sandra. Thank you. It was fun. Pleasure. Bye.